right, you guys, back at it again with another action figure review. We're being, we're still being weird. We're not doing any Marvel Legends because there's really no Marvel Legends out that I need to get right now. So we're doing something a little different today. Um, NECA, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the cartoon, Nickelodeon version. Another one, Bites the Crust. We are getting the Pizza Monster from the cartoon show. If you want to read the bio, here, I'll bring it closer. I'm not going to read all that, though. Here. Oh, show. Sure, let me see. Let me, let me just get the camera right up on it. You guys can read that. Pause right now. That's a nice artwork of the actual... The characters in the back, Baxter, Shredder. I'm actually watching this cartoon right now from the 80s, and my goodness, it's kind of corny, but you know, it's from the 80s, so what do you expect? We got a nice little photo of our figure on the inside, as well as a nice window to see all of our goodies that we're going to get. Uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and crack this bad boy open, though. Ninja Turtles. Remember, keep the inserts. Look at this. Look at this nice free backdrop. You can just pop that there. I'll send you got Well, the light's a little crazy, but... You got a free backdrop right there. You know what I mean? I always hang on to these. So you keep them. All right, and you know how we do? We're gonna do accessories first. First, he comes with this little baby alien, which is pretty cool. Not articulated at all, but a fun little addition. Little baby alien, little baby pizza monster. Straight up a xenomorph from um, Aliens. And he comes with this control thing, which I think is for the turtles. And on the back of the box, it shows the turtles holding it. So I think this is maybe how they track the monster. It's got a nice little detail on it. It's got a little switch buttons down here. Little wires, little texture on the wires as well. Little wires on the back. The screen like pops up. That's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of like a Game Boy. And then it comes with this pizza box, UFO pizza, which actually opens which is pretty nice to reveal oh, another accessory, a pizza, which is actually a pretty nice detailed pizza. Nice and sliced up the back. Even the back has like detail for like the crust. I wish they gave it a little burnt look. And then you put your pizza in there. Guess what? Boom. Now you got a pizza to go. And that's pretty much all our accessories. Let's get on to the figure. Okay, and here's our pizza monster out of the packaging. And I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with the way this figure came out overall. You know, I'm, I don't, I haven't seen him in the cartoon yet. I'm only like on, show like the 20th episode, so not that deep into it. Uh, and I haven't seen this guy yet, so I don't really know how his episode goes. But this, it looks really nice. I love all the white. This is all not. This is not reflecting from the light. This is actually white paint right here to make it look like he's got like light reflecting off of him. It looks really nice. I love all the black lines throughout the figure. There's a little scuffs here and there. It's not gonna be perfect because these are actually painted, not just like, sculpted like this, like Hasbro is sculpting things, not painting anything anymore. Look at the head sculpt on this guy. Like, man, this guy's got a mean mug. He's like, oh, I'm gonna eat that gosh darn pizza boy. Cause I'm the pizza monster. And yeah, it looks really good. Look at the back, it's all, it's a darker shade. You can see light yellow, dark yellow, like mustard yellow right here. Bend detail that bends, you know, really, really nice. Ridges on the tail, you can see the little holes. That looks a little jacked up right there, but whatever. See, I think that this is the top, honestly, but the way they show it, maybe it's not. It looks like it's supposed to be, but they messed up because, look, that looks like it's supposed to be on top. But I think this is actually supposed to be on top. I don't know. I'm no expert. These toes look crazy. He's got two toes. He's got like these webbed <clears throat> kind of leg things right here for probably swimming in the sewer. He's kind of jacked. He's got a long old neck. These back muscles are crazy. Yeah, not really much to say about this guy. He's all yellow. Look at these nails. Look at his hands. Faux fingers with the long nails, boy tripping. And also, I don't think I mentioned this, but ah, mouth opens too, baby. You can see that little uvula, tongue texture inside the mouth. Good, a lot of good detail here. Oh, I'm gonna eat your ass. I'm gonna eat your ass. I mean, for articulation, mouth opens and closes, of course. But the head looks down about that much without moving the neck. Looks that much up without moving the neck. But now with the neck. The neck goes down that much and it goes back that much. 
So you got a large range of motion here as far as, as, as well as the head turns this way and this way and the neck also rotates and swivels any way you like as well. So that's a lot of motion right there. No butterfly joint, but we do get a single joint in arm that goes up, rotates all the way around, of course. We got double jointed elbows that bend right here and I think they do rotate at the, the joint. I wouldn't try that really. Or maybe they, they do, but it's kind of tricky. I don't really want to mess with that. It should rotate right here too, but it's not. I think it only rotates maybe at that back one. So then we got wrist rotation, of course. But you got to be a little careful with these guys because NECA known for breaking. So you got to be really gentle. I don't want to mess up my guy. And we got back. And my boy, my boy hitting the Kobe. <sighs> Oh, Kobe. All right, and then we got the diaphragm joint that goes, doesn't go back at all, really. It goes back about that much. Goes forward, not too much as well either, but it does rotate and then goes a little bit side to side. Not the best range of motion there, but it, it's whatever. These go out about that much. They go out about this much. They do have a bit of a die cut in there. Not too good, but it's not terrible either double jointed knees that bend that much pretty nice there is a bit of knee rotation right there sorry i'm not on the camera i'm trying to but you know don't worry too much about that double jointed knees like i said the foot does go up there is no boot cut foot goes up it goes down and let me see uh oh yeah we do get a little bit of side to oh actually do we not this guy is kind of tough i don't know barely i don't want to i don't want to break it honestly but it's there but it doesn't want to move and yeah all right and here he is next to our turtles our tortoises our teenage mutant ninja turtle and uh yeah he towers over them but they're in scale with each other so don't hate the player hate the game hate the game buddy and here we are with some larger figures i forgot this guy's name so i'm just gonna call him trash man and then metalhead you know, just the, the taller figures. This guy's pretty cool. I don't know. Garbage man. Look at the detail in the garbage. All right, and here he is with some other bad guys. We got a foot soldier. We got Baxter in his B form. And then we got the Shredder. This Shredder is from the Target um, multi-pack where you buy like a, you get like a box. It's like a box set. You get a t-shirt, a beanie, a keychain, a Shredder figure. And this is the Shredder I got. And it's pretty nice. Pretty nice. If you haven't happened to find that box it's a pretty it's a pretty hefty buy it's 50 bucks but i think you get a lot of stuff for 50 bucks like i said you get a crank beanie here Do I, have the crank beanie? I don't know where it's at right now but the crank beanie is hecka cool it, it looks like him um the shredder the shirt is like an all bad guy shirt and it comes with the shredder so pretty good deal and here he is with some marvel legends i think that the art style like the cartooniness works to the marvel legends advantage too so if you wanted to fudge him in with some photos, um, I think that's pretty all right. I think you'd be able to get away with it, at least in my opinion. I mean, you know, I'm just one guy. I'm just one guy though. All right, y'all, final thoughts on this guy. Pretty cool. I mean, um, he's got a lot less um, accessories than most NECA figures I've been collecting these days. Um, yeah, and NECA, especially these Ninja Turtle figures are something that I've been getting into more and more this year. Um, so you're going to probably see a lot more of these kind of um, Ninja Turtle reviews. But um, yeah, I think he's a great pickup. I think he's fun. The only, my, another issue I have with these NECA figures is when you move them around, like the joints and stuff, paint chips off fairly easily. So you kind of want to be really careful with them because they might have just big chunks of paint just missing in the joints, which kind of, kind of sucks. But at the same time, it's like, you know, you're not really meant to play with them. They're more of just like a pose and stand kind of deal um but yeah i think uh if you happen to find this guy he's probably really cheap i got mine for 20 bucks so i i can't imagine you're gonna spend that much more than me but retail 30 30 bucks still not that bad this line is pretty cool and uh it's a pretty cool figure like it's a pretty solid um every man figure you can throw this guy in any comic book cartoon style picture if you want or whatever you feel like doing and i think it'll work personally but um, that's up for you to decide. Make your own decisions. Because you're a big boy. You're a big boy, you know? 
And these are for adult collectors, not for a little baby, not for a little tiny baby pizza man. Let me see if I'll put this guy right here. Maybe right here, let me see. This will be fun, hold on, hold on. There we go. All right, y'all, well, that's gonna do it for this video. I don't know what else to say other than uh, uh, Heroes in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. Turtle Power.